Welcome to my big fat diet show. We're on a quest to drop a dress size in two weeks. And to do it, we're on a diet with a difference where there's one rule and one rule only. We've got to stick to 1,200 calories a day. But I'm not going it alone. Dieting along with me are Josie, Gail, Bev, Pam, Debbie and Lizzie, who are all self-confessed dieting disasters. I think we've done every diet, haven't we? The grapefruit diet. Yeah, this diet. I tried these slimming pills. <laughs> Let's put it this way, the fat just runs straight through me, no matter where it was. And our inspiration to drop a dress size are these seven fabulous frocks, but we've got to budge the bulge to get them back on. Problem is, we all live busy lives and rely on pre-packed produce and savoury snacks. Oh, so this is my downfall. So this is where I'm going to have two. Is that all right? You just have to have to whatever you want. Two of everything. Two of everything. <laughs> Do you make them? I did. Well, no, I took no. them out of the freezer, <laughs> put them in the oven and heated them up. I said, if I'm going to be bad, I think I'll just chuck into the cheese. Especially when we've had a tipple or two. Cheese! cheese! So, to make sticking to 1,200 calories a day super easy, we've created a pop-up supermarket with a difference. This supermarket is designed to eradicate overeating by stocking everything from staples to our oh-so-favourite treats. And to demonstrate just how fattening our favourite foods really are, everything is packed in 100-calorie portions. And you get frankly pathetic portions of those much-loved salty treats for 100 calories. Head to aisle two for two-thirds of a bag of mini cheddars for 100 calories and a half a bag of Doritos. In the chilled and freezer section, six chunky chips for 100 calories, or one sixteenth of a quiche for 100 calories. It's day four of the diet, and there's a surprise in store in the 100 Club. To start to turn our taste buds off the pre-packed pastries and treats in favour of fresh and filling foods, all the savoury junks been banned. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Nibbles banned. All right. This time around, there's been some aisles and some foods that have been banned. So, this aisle, the salty snacks have been banned. So... So is that over there? Oh, I didn't see that. Seriously. <gasps> oh, my pie! My lovely pie! Oh, Lizzie, disaster! Oh, your pie's gone. Oh. Normally for Lizzie, the pie's the limit, and she wouldn't think twice about scoffing three mini porkers whilst cooking dinner, which would be a pie. That's 600 extra calories before she downs a square meal. I'm a bit gutted that we haven't got any crisps and nibbles to eat. There's always crisps in the house. There's always chocolate biscuits in the house. Um, there's always things to munch on. And I love grazing, and that's the problem. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm not happy. Because my only treat was going to be pompons, I'm going to have to rethink this completely. I was definitely going to go Twiglets this I'm week. Not happy. Mm. So what's been cut out is the salty snacks. We've got the takeaway convenience foods, and then in the freezer again the sort of chips and the Yorkshire pud. So in a way, they're doing us a favour. Mm. Yes. If you want to diet along with us or for the full 14-day meal plan, then head to our website channel4.com forward slash food. We all have our favourite foods we occasionally overindulge in. I know I've had times when I just can't stop. But for some people, their relationship with food can get out of control. I struggle with that, Chris, because it's what I eat, like, all the time. Emma Hall is 26 years old and lives in the Midlands. And this blonde bombshell has one very unhealthy addiction. I normally have about five bags of Chris a day on a normal day, uh, between five and ten. My first food of the day, then my crisps for breakfast. And for lunch at work. Just have some chicken. No, I'm all right, Lisa. And for dinner back at home. In fact, Emma refuses to eat almost anything else. And with her three main meals a day consisting of crisps, crisps and crisps, she can munch her way through up to 70 bags in a week. I like quavers. 
liking prawn McCoys. I like chip sticks. I love wax sticks as well. I like frazzle, tomato snaps. I like squares, discos, smoky bacon. And I love knickknacks. When I've got a hangover, I'll probably get through by five bags, like just in like the morning. And then I'll have a three or four more in the afternoon. Worst of all, as a young mum, Emma's struggling to keep control of her addiction in front of her three-year-old son, Tyler. I do worry about Ty. Um, I don't want him to obviously see me munching crisps all the time and him think it's OK to, like, not have dinner. Wow! But for Emma, her addiction to crisps hides the fact that she lives in terror of certain foods. And this fear has ruled her life since she was just eight years old. I'm really funny with what I eat because I'm scared of choking on it. So with crisps, I know I can just eat them and they don't panic me. And over the past few years, the amount of food she deems safe to eat has dwindled. I'll eat chips and I'll eat chicken. So chicken, chips, really. After a diet of up to 70 bags a week, Emma knows for the sake of her son and herself, she needs to get rid of her crispy cravings. I do feel, like, tired quite a lot of the time. I, like, lack energy. And I feel unhealthy as well. I would like to cut down. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it, because I'm not quite sure what I'll eat. Help is on the way. Over the next six weeks, Emma will undergo treatment to help her break free of her food phobia and addictive eating under the guidance of clinical psychologist Henk van Bilsen and dietitian Ursula Philpott. People with food phobias might develop a list of safe foods. They can't risk eating anything else, and then eating these safe foods will result in the development of a food addiction. Henk needs to unlock Emma's craving for crisps, and that means going back to the root cause. I don't like eating things that I think I'm going to choke on, which is like most things. When I was little, I used to choke all the time, especially like on bacon. Mm -hmm. So how long ago would it be that you've eaten a, um, what some people would consider a normal meal? Yeah, a year. A year ago, right. I mean, we've identified two problems. Problem one is I eat too much of those, and problem two is I kind of don't eat enough other healthy food. I mean, what, what, would, what would your goal be? I just like to have a nice, balanced diet, so I wouldn't want to cut out crisps altogether. I don't think I could. If, if a real nasty person would offer you a choice and would say, you can have either crisps, or your family? <laughs> what would you say? I, I don't know. I, I hope I won't have to make that decision. With Emma torn between her crisps and her family, Hank needs to take drastic action to help shock her out of her addiction. Let's have a look at the amount of crisps you eat in, in one year. If you add it up, it's, it's about um, 2,352 packets of crisps. It's a bit of a shock, really. Shock. Yeah. In fact, it's a staggering 89 kilos of crisps a year. Almost as, as much as someone would weigh, isn't it? It's, it's someone's body weight in crisps. That, that, that... <sighs> Makes me feel unhealthy, more unhealthy. Henk will help Emma kick her 870 pound a year habit and conquer her fear of choking by using cognitive behaviour therapy. Small steps to achieve big changes. I'll give that to you then. Emma's goal is to eat three proper meals a day and cut down on those crispy critters. So over the course of the next few weeks, she'll be following Henk's advice to help her overcome her crunchy cravings. She must write a food diary to work out how much she's eating, when and why. And she must gradually cut down her addiction by starting to replace her old crunchy breakfast with a healthy alternative. I have been having like toast for breakfast, not every day, but I've tried most days. And finally, to break the cycle of mindless eating, Emma must grab a bag of crisps on the run. She must always eat them out of a bowl. Got it. it definitely makes me think twice about eating the crisps when I'm out because it's all right if they're in a packet because I don't feel so mad, but carrying a bowl about with me. I look a bit insane. <laughs>
I've given myself just two weeks to drop a dress size by sticking to a 1,200 calorie a day limit. But I'm not doing it alone. Oh, no. I've got my six dieting divas to do it with me. And we're back at the 100 Club, where, to force us all to eat more healthily, savoury snacks and ready meals have been banned. Oh. And it's hitting us all hard. So, Debbie, wave goodbye to your vindaloo. Oh, Gone. Goodness. Leading busy lives means my dieting divas often rely on calorific convenience foods to fill up, especially non-cooking Debbie. I have a pizza, macaroni cheese, which I absolutely love, I have pie. I don't like cooking. It's just easier to nip in to the supermarket and pick up some convenience food. My diet basically consists of convenience food and cake. <laughs> and for Pam, culinary nirvana is nuking a ready meal. I eat chips and pasta with lots of creamy sauces on them. More pasta, potatoes with cheese. And that is why I am getting bigger and bigger and bigger all the time. When it comes to ready meals in the 100 calorie club, you only get a tiny portion for your 100 cows, which illustrates just how calorific a full meal can be. But if we can't turn to the microwave in times of hunger, we're gonna have to cook. And we're about to find out not all ingredients are created equal. Right, girls, this is an education for you, as well as me. Any balanced meal needs a good portion of protein, but what to pick? Lined up at eight platters, but with a massive difference in calories. So, here's the countdown from highest to lowest. Pork chop, 568 calories per portion. Lamb chops at 509. Steak, 456. Salmon is 263 calories per portion. Tuna, 185. Chickens, 162. Prawns, just 72 calories. And tofu, 62 per portion. So the most calorific meats here, interesting, lamb chops, pork chop, sirloin steak. You look at the chicken, it's half of that. That's interesting to know. Prawns, 72? Mm. Oh, that's good. Have the scales fallen from our eyes at all? Yeah, it's really interesting. I'm definitely going to buy some tofu now. I think that's brilliant. It's really opened my eyes, because 468 calories for a steak when I could have tuna at 185. You could have two tuna steaks. Yeah, absolutely, and feel just as satisfied. So you think you might change your choices a little bit? Oh, definitely, yeah. At just 72 calories for a 100 gram portion, prawns are a cracking locale option. And here to give us a spicy prawn soup, skinny and fast, is my Big Fat Diet Show's weapon of fat destruction. Ex-England rugby champ turned king of the kitchen, Matt Dawson. Look, they've all put the lippy on for you. <laughs> OK, hands up. Who likes a ready meal of an evening? Because I often do. Pam. It's just easy to stick a knife in a packet and whack it in the microwave as it is to actually start from scratch. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> We've gone so well, didn't we? <laughs> I totally take on board what you're talking about with the ready meals. It's got to be quick. It's got to be easy. We're talking... 10, 15 minutes. Okay, that's good. For a really flavoursome noodle soup. And it's only going to be 200 calories oh, a portion. Oh. Ooh. Ooh! We like that. Okay, what do we have to do? Right, okay. The rice noodles I'm going to put on straight away. Really simple. Pour the kettle, rice noodles in a bowl, chuck it on. Using rice noodles saves around 30 calories per 100 gram portion compared to egg noodles. I've got some stock just bubbling away. A little sachet miso soup chucked in the stock. With miso soup at just 25 cals a sachet, this is all about adding flavour, not calories. Two um, hoisin sauce, two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Now, fish sauce. Oh, whoa, that's it's... like armpits. <laughs> So just one of those gives it that nice oriental flavour. Right, now let's get some ingredients in. Chilli. This can be pretty rough. I like it rough. <laughs> <laughs> now look what you've started. You have to join the queue, unfortunately. <laughs> OK, so the ginger. 
is going in. It'll infuse into this stock as it's cooking through. Right, OK. We're going to use asparagus, and um, you can use sugar snap, mange too, whatever you've got knocking about.